Hello there. Here we are again. So today I have an article on 16 lesser known gods and goddesses of Norse mythology. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, punch the like button in its stomach. Anyways, here we go. 16 lesser known gods and goddesses of Norse mythology. Most of us are familiar with the major Norse gods and goddesses like Odin, Thor, and Freya. These deities play important roles in Norse mythology as powerful leaders, warriors, and protectors. Popular books, video games, and shows have kept the no mythology of the major Norse gods and goddesses alive in recent decades. These gods and goddesses are popular because of their prominent roles in traditional Norse stories. Norse gods and goddesses. Less popular gods and goddesses play interesting roles in the Norse mythology. Christopher Wilhelm, Exburg, Exburg Public Domain via Wikipedia Commons. The minor gods and goddesses included in this list are also important to the understanding of Norse mythology. Their characteristics and stories are extremely interesting and reveal much about the history and culture of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. These deities are considered minor, but still play important roles in Norse religion. Honer and Loder. Honer and Loder work with Odin to create the first humans. Honer and Loder were two of the first gods to accompany Odin. They are credited with creating the first humans in the Voluspa poem. According to some Norse poetry, Honer gave reason to man. In other stories, Holnir is incompetent. He also sometimes acts as a traveling companion of Odin, Loki, and other major Norse gods. Degir. Degir is and his horse bring light to the world in Norse mythology. Degir is the personification of daytime in Norse mythology. He rides a horse to bring sunlight to the word Nagir is mentioned in the Poetic Edda and the Prose Edda. He is a foundational character in Scandinavian religion. And as a side note to this article, uh, he is the son of Nott, the primordial goddess of night. Nordir. Nordir, the god of wind and sea, is also the father of Freya. Nordir is the father of Freya and Freyr. He is the Norse god of the wind, sea, and fishing. These aspects of life were extremely important to the seafaring Vikings and Scandinavian farmers who lived and worked near the ocean. Although he represents important elements of everyday life for the Norse people, Njordir is considered a minor god. He is mentioned in the Prose Edda and Poetic Edda. Nordir is one god who survives the events of Ragnarok. Midar. Midar is a silent god and the son of Odin. Midar represents vengeance in Norse mythology thanks to his actions during Ragnarok. After the death of Odin, Midar kills the wolf that murdered his father. He is one of the few gods to survive Ragnarok and is part of the younger generation of Norse gods. His story is included in the Prose Edda. Modi and Magni. Modi and Magni, the sons of Thor, would inherit his famous and powerful hammer. Modi and Magni represent wrath and might, respectively. These brothers inherit Thor's hammer after the events of Ragnarok. They are part of the younger generation of gods who survive these apocalyptic events. They are antagonists in the popular video game God of War. Forseti. Forseti is the god of justice and lawmaking in Norse mythology. He is the son of Baldr and Nana. Forseti is wise, elegant, and well respected by his fellow gods. He resides in a hall made of silver and gold. He prefers to resolve conflicts through mediation rather than violence. 
Rossetti was such an influ influential figure that he became part of the folklore of the Frisia religion of the ne Netherlands. He became the main god of the Frisian people. Frigg. The goddess Frigg represents aspects of womanhood and is the wife of Odin. Frigg is the Norse goddess of fertility, marriage, and motherhood. She is the wife of Odin and is the queen of the Norse pantheon. Frigg commands attendants like Gedda and focuses on matters of womanhood. We get the English word Friday from Frigg's name. Na receives instruction from Frigg. Na is the main messenger and attendant of the goddess Frigg. She rides a flying horse to travel quickly from place to place. According to some stories, seeing Na is an omen of danger. Saga. Saga and Odin sh share a drink at the sunken bank. Saga is a goddess who is associated with location, with a location called Skokvabekr, or sunken bank. She is mentioned in the prose Edda and poetic Edda. Saga may be another name for Frigg. She is also thought to be the goddess of poetry. Sjofen. Sjofen is a goddess of love who is similar to the major goddess Freya. Sjofen is an obscure goddess of love in Norse mythology. She is mentioned in the poetic Edda and some skaldic poetry. Var. Var is a love goddess who takes special interest in the vows of relationships. Var, another love goddess, specializes in making within, in oath making within relationships. She is a protective goddess who takes vengeance on couples who do not keep their promises to each other. Sol. Sol is the goddess of sun. She is the female embodiment of the sun in Norse mythology. She is the sister of the Norse moon god and appears in the prose Edda, poetic Edda, and several Germanic myths. Sol is killed by Fenrir, the wolf, during Ragnarok. Gefion. Gefion is a goddess who takes matters into her own hands. She is the mother figure of Scandinavia. Gefion is the goddess of fertility and plowing. She is a mother figure of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. According to folklore, Odin sent Gefion to conquer land. He would give her as much land as she could plow. In response, Gefion quickly gave birth to four sons. She transformed her sons into giant oxen and used them to plow the land of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Sif. Sif is the wife of Thor and the goddess of beauty. She is known for her long and flowing blonde hair. Loki cuts her precious hair and the elves make her hair of living gold. Sigyn. Sigyn is the wife of Logi. Loki the mischievous god. She is a patient goddess who represents victory, vigilance, self-sacrifice, and devotion. Nana. Nana is the mother of Forseti, described above, and the wife of Balder. She is a devoted wife who dies of grief after her husband is killed. Nana lives with her husband in hell, the Norse underworld. Thank you for watching. That's the end of that article. Please give me a like. Um, and if you found this interesting or you have any questions about any of these god goddesses, uh, put a comment in the comments section. And that will help me with my algorithms. And I would greatly appreciate that. Have a good night.